So this sander that's buried, this is one that you bought at the most, at the 18 months ago or whatever, at the AWS? No, this one I just bought last year. Okay, and that was at the uh, AWFS? AWFS in, in Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Okay. Now where, this is the area that the... Um, right, and this, and this area here right now, in, in this corner to your right, is where our brand new spray booth is going okay. with makeup air. Uh, in this back of the building here, we're having a kitchenette and bathrooms put in for the shop crew. Oh, that's nice. We also, for fire reasons, need an, another exit out of the shop. Exactly. So we're going to be putting a hallway through there. And then this is a, a pinch roller. That you right, have. this is a, a new pinch roller here we bought. All our laminates right now we uh, roll by hand. Okay. However, because we're going to start laminating large sheets, we decided it's time to get a pinch roller. And right. What's nice about this pinch roller, it can do, it can, uh, do pieces down to six inches long. Now, is this uh, grizzly going to stay here? That is the cut? center okay. uh, of where it's supposed to be. It may move within a couple feet of that. Right. That's the approximate location. Now, you said that the lighting that's up here is all going to be changed for... Um, for um, dust proof. Right. Uh, for fire hazards. Okay. Uh, we are also probably going to be doubling the amount of light that's in here. Right. And this is um, standing right here working with this. That's Mike Weber, who's our shop manager. Okay. Hi, Mike. Hello. And that's a um, Holzer panel saw? That's a Holzer 1204, a 1205 okay. panel saw, which was our first panel saw we bought. Which is where he cuts all the um, yeah, plexiglass. It, it, right. We cut a lot of the laminates and plexiglass okay. on there. And the other one is a new Strebig saw we just bought uh, 18 months ago. Now, I notice you have things on wheels. Is that temporary? Is that always going to be like that? Um, a lot of it was made so that we could move things uh, as needed if we were working on a large job. If you notice, there's new cabinets here. Mm -hmm. They're built up on boxes where you can actually put the forks of the forklift underneath there. I see. To pick up because they are heavy and they are stock. And you have a couple of uh, Delta Unisaws? Yes, uh, two Delta Unisaws here and one in the other shop, which will probably be coming over. Again, we'll be working in both areas. Um, and these are some cabinets that are built? These are, are our workbenches, actually. Right. But if you're building cabinets, you do it the same way, where you put them on a lift so that you can, or, or is it just these cabinets? Th that's that just these cabinets here for our movability within the shop. Where do you actually uh, assemble your cabinets, then? Um, anywhere there's free floor space <laughs> <laughs> or countertop space. Um, and I see that now you said that the... Um, Heating and elect uh, right. the heating and air conditioning the, the are going to be here, at the top here. The, um, the engineering firm had uh, designed a way of uh, reinforcing the ceiling and putting a, a new externally mounted air conditioning and heating system. Mm -hmm. uh, heating system, especially having all flame components of the gas fired mechanism outside the building. Right. Um, to make it as safe as possible. Make it as safe as possible, correctly. And it looks like you have some um, metal, uh, or rather fabricated pieces for your dust control system. Right, that actually is an a, a dust system. Uh, the frame there holds the, uh, the cyclone system. Uh, we have a, a double 55 gallon drum uh, connection, and the filter tubes will hang on there. It's been sized for the average number of running machines in the okay. shop. The machines will all have blast gates, so the machines that aren't being used can be shut off. Machines that need to be turned on, we can actually open the blast gate. We have uh, also in the back corner there, we have the Minimax um, line boring and construction boring machines, uh, which will all get set up throughout the shop. <clears throat> and you're planning on actually setting up possibly, well, you're not sure yet, but probably in that other smaller area. Right, that's going to be our hardware, our final assembly, any little touch-up. We, again, we have a spray booth in there also, mm -hmm. so that we have anything we have to do a quick finish touch-up on, we can do there. Now, a lot of your spray booth um, work is actually adhesive. Correct. Correct, for your laminating. Correct. And you don't outsource the laminate, you do it yourself. We do it all ourselves. What do you do? What kind of boards do you do it on? Oh, we do it on uh, flake board. Okay. We do it also on some MDF board. Okay. Well, this was a great idea to put right. this and up there. This rack system has worked so well here that between these two panel saws, we have a double rack system coming, which will actually straddle the I beam here, uh -huh. where we can set the rack in there. We'll have panels stacked on each side. So it can be pulled from each side to either machine. Which will make it easier on the operator. Correct. We're also looking at, and we're, we're trying to find the best one, a vacuum lift system. Yeah. So that amazing. one person can lift the sheets. Although they can now, we don't want anybody to pull the back out. Right. So now, if you leave this area, you go through, 
we go through a, a uh, I'll call it a loading dock area with, <coughs> with a um, bay we had put inside. This is where we can load up the equipment at night. Um, we can leave our hands with tools locked up in here. And it also gives us. And you us have a, an installer, so you probably have stuff in the van for Correct. Install, install. And it also gives us a little extra floor space on some of those things that uh, we just have to build somewhere else. Right. Now, this is the old shop. This is the old shop. It's going to be a, a multi a multi use shop. Um, we brought our compressors in here to keep them out of the dust area. We still have our radial arm saw set in here for any trim pieces. And this will be a combination of our millwork, final stages, and also our plastic fabrication. Uh, shop which does uh, some plastic science. Now work. out of these two compressors, which one is the refrigerated? The refrigerated one is the, uh, the yellow one here. Okay, the Kaiser. Right. That's got uh, its compressor and it's got its uh, air conditioning unit to keep uh, the moisture content uh, very low. And you did that because? We did that because we were noticing we were getting moisture in our blue spray and also in our finished spray. Uh, the representative from Kaiser uh, was very helpful and recommended that we can get. And uh, as you can hear by that noise, it's a very uh, quiet uh, unit compared to the old rotary piston pipe. So the, I'm, the piston I'm, pipe, that actually is a rotary piston pipe. I'm guessing you're really looking forward to getting settled in the new space that we just came out of. Correct. Where things are a little hectic. It's, it's, it's very hectic. Also right there now um, for employee comfort and also keep the moisture content down. Okay.